Good morning, folks. As always, give thanks and praises to your Creator, whoever you might conceive your Creator to be. Now, let me jump right into this. Me every day above ground is a beautiful day. Now, I was, you know, I'm an early morning kind of person, and I was thinking on this here. I'm saying to myself, okay, let me think on this for a moment because it doesn't make any sense to me. Now, we were made to understand that they have all different kind of aliens. The good aliens, the bad aliens. You have the Anunnaki, you have the Dracons, you have different kind of aliens that come back and forth to here. Okay. I was also we also made to understand that we have free will. Alright, let me first jump on this free will thing because it didn't like I said, it has to make sense to Maybe me. Maybe so. get some more enlightenment on this free will. Now, after Creator give you free will to do as you like, why should you be judged for stealing, so-called, cheating, killing, etc.? If He give you free will, why should you be judged for doing those things? That means He give you free will with a condition that you can't do certain things, then that is not free will. Because I'm kind of figure if he give you free will, you should be able to do what you like with no repercussions, repercussions, as they would say. But then they said you have karma, and karma comes back to you when you do stuff you're not supposed to do. Mainly and truly we understand that when you do to another, you do to yourself because it's only one person. Because so, it's guess it, it's guess all different aspects of the creator in different forms, colors, creed, etc. But then, if you give that person free will, that person should not be judged for the things that the person is doing, because the person has free will. So that they need to be clarified where that is concerned. Now, where the aliens is concerned, and we live in a vast universe, as they say. The universe is vast, we have different dimensions, different realities, we have different universe, and there are billions and billions and billions of that. Now, if they have billions and billions of different universe and different dimensions, and we have seven chakras, okay, hold up on that part, we have seven chakras, and you have billions and billions of different universe and vast, a vast universe, how come that you only have this one planet that have physical life on it? That's what they told us. That this is the only planet. As a matter of fact, the terminology that they use is that Earth is like the Las Vegas of the universe. Every spirit wants to come here to experience what it is to be physical. Now, how do they know that? How do they know that this is the only planet that have life in it? When you guys live in the Milky Way galaxy. Now we live in the Milky Way galaxy. But they have billions and billions and billions of these. And you're going to tell me that this is the only planet that have life on it that's physical. See, that don't make sense to me either. Now we were made to understand the reason why the Anunnaki came here because the Anunnaki planet was getting too hot from the sun. So they were melting the gold to put a race over their planet to protect the sun from penetrating their planet to killing them off. So they ran out of gold and they came to earth for gold. Now, understanding that if they're only if we are only in the Milky Way galaxy, that means that the Anunnaki did not go outside of this galaxy to find another planet. That means they're inside this planet, inside this Milky Way galaxy, and they realize there's a planet here that have gold, and they come here to harvest the gold to protect their planet. Now, like I said before, let's think. If you have seven chakras in your body, do you think that the creator, whoever it might be, would only create one planet that have physical life on it if you have billions and billions of other galaxies let's think for a moment folks guys it's, it didn't make no sense to me and i forget my, my thoughts come to me early for the morning so i had to make a video on this 
if we have billion and billions of galaxies why would it be the, why would earth be the only planet that have physical life on it and we we are only in the milky way and this is one of billions of billions of other galaxies so let's think on that and if people can ask people astral travel they go to different realities and they may they tell me that you have never seen another physical earth in all your travels in your astral traveling in your dreaming in your um we could say projections you have never seen so maybe in your astral traveling i'm asking questions and your astral traveling you're only doing that in this milky way galaxy you are not going outside of that Milky Way galaxy to see what's outside there. Because after there's billions and billions of other planets out there. And other galaxies out there. There have to be more than one Earth where you have life, physically life on it. So. Let's think on that. Ask questions on it. Because like I said. It didn't make no sense to me and that free will stuff too had to have come with a condition because if you have free will to do as you like why should you be judged for so-called cheating so-called stealing because all those things come with conditions if you're stealing there's a reason why you're stealing if you're cheating there's a reason why you're cheating if you're killing there's always a reason why you're killing so if that comes if that is your free will it had to come to condition because then it should be no karma Anyway, folks, like I said, I try to think outside the box as much as possible because a lot of stuff sometimes, as you read and you listen and you watch DVDs, it just don't make no sense to me. So, hope someone can clarify for me and let me know exactly what it is about this free will and about this only planet in this vast universe that only have physical life on it. Yeah, back at me at that. Until then, folks, like I always say, give thanks and praises. Subscribe, thumbs up, like, share. Please share the video. Let me get some likes on this. Thumbs up. Love you guys. Remember, the only thing in the universe that can get us through anything is love. So always be loving, be kind, be considerate. Be giving, be caring, be respectful, be honest, be fair, be just, be humble. Until then, 